If you're somebody who's planning a trip, or just maybe travels a lot, and you need to bring your Switch with you, and I'm not talking about just the Switch, I'm talking the dock, pro controller, everything else, and you want it in one small case, I think that I've found the solution, and this is the PDP Pull and Go case. Take a look. What's up guys, welcome back or welcome in for the first time. If you're new here, please do me a quick favor, hit that subscribe button and let's go ahead and jump right in. So I literally just got back from a trip to a pretty secluded beach with my family. And with things being the way they are right now, it's kind of tough to do that, but we did end up finding a pretty secluded beach to go to. We stayed about a week there and I brought this with me so I could bring my entire switch and everything that goes with it. And I wanna talk a little bit about this thing and just why I think this is a really, really good choice if you are looking for something that holds everything and you're gonna be traveling or maybe just somebody who travels a lot and needs to take all this stuff with you all the time. Something I really didn't think about when I got it is I'm probably gonna be using this a lot because I have to bring my switch back and forth from my house to my studio almost every day. Well, not every day, but a lot. I bring it back and forth a lot. So this is definitely gonna come in handy with that if I need to bring the dock or you know, just whatever. So I wanna start out and I wanna talk about the form factor of this thing. Now there are a lot of other choices as far as cases for everything and backpacks or whatever you're really looking for, but this one, as far as I can see, had the smallest form factor and with my entire family going in one vehicle, space was definitely an issue. So I wanted to find something that was gonna be really small and this definitely fit the bill. Now this does fit everything that comes with the Switch in here, no problem whatsoever, and a few other extra things. But essentially with this, you're just gonna be carrying what came with your Switch. You can fit a few other things, which we'll go over in a second, but this isn't gonna have any extra space for like a laptop or you know a camera or anything else like maybe one of those bigger backpack style ones would. So when you take a look at the inside here, you'll see it's got these little removable panels. So you can actually build the inside of this thing essentially any way you want. I went ahead and went with the style that they had on the little cardboard that came around it just because it seems to fit everything pretty much exactly how I need it. So as you can see here on this side, I've got my dock, and right behind that, I've actually got a Joy-Con grip with two Joy-Cons, but you can definitely fit a Pro Controller in here, no problem. The only reason I brought this instead of the Pro Controller is because I wanted to have an extra set of Joy-Cons just in case everybody wanted to play. We had enough controllers to do that. So on the first side pocket here, I've got the two little Joy-Con straps in there, you know, just in case, and an HDMI cable. Then on the opposite side, I've got the charger that comes with the Switch, and I also have in here the car charger that is made for the Nintendo Switch specifically. Also something very nice to have if you're going out of town or gonna be on a long road trip in the car for a while. So another extra thing I fit in here was this little game case that holds pretty much all my physical games and we're gonna talk about this in another video so make sure you guys get subscribed so you can check that out. But yeah essentially in this big area that's pretty much all you're gonna be able to fit. As you can see here I have some of the dividers in but it actually came with one extra one that I didn't use. What this is gonna do is actually take away one of these side pouches that I've made here and give you just one compartment on the side instead of one on each side. Another really cool thing about the pull and go case is it's actually got multiple ways that you can carry it. Now it comes with this handle attached which you actually have to disconnect on one of the sides to open the main panel, which is kind of a bummer. It's not a huge deal because it comes off really easily and it stays on very well too. So, you know, it's not really a huge issue, but it would be nice if you didn't have to take that off every time, but not a big deal. Now, another thing this did come with, which I did not take with me and haven't really used at all, is a shoulder strap and it's fully adjustable. It's made of metal on the ends. I mean, it's it's really high quality. Honestly, this whole case is very, very high quality in my opinion. It's got this like gray woven fabric on the outside that I think not only looks good, but feels like it's gonna last for a long time. And then it's got this really nice little leather stripe with the Switch logo on the side and it's actually got the same thing on the top. The bottom's got a really nice tough texture on it, so it looks like that's gonna hold up over time as well. The only thing I think that could have been done a little bit better is 
whatever material they used for the outside could have been a little bit thicker, but I think as far as the bottom, the top, and overall protection of everything inside, as long as you're not getting it smashed by something or dropping it from a really high place, you should be okay with this. I don't think it's gonna be really an issue at all. And in case you're wondering, it is also officially licensed, so that's cool too. Now here is where this case gets very, very interesting, and I think this is why I like this thing so much, and I think it's what makes it work so well. Now obviously, you've seen the thumbnail, You've seen other videos on this, probably. So you probably know that this top portion here is where you actually store the switch unit itself. So unzipping that, you can see here, it's pretty much a standard interior of a switch case. Literally looks just like almost everything else we've looked at on this channel. Nothing crazy here. Couple spots for games, a little thing, you know, a little, little mesh pouch here, but you're not gonna be using any of this stuff, honestly. It does have a strap to keep the thing in place, but for some reason it's not attached on the bottom or to the actual case itself. It's attached to the screen cover, which is strange, so it kind of just floats in and out. I mean, I guess, I don't know. I'm sure there's a reason for it, I just haven't figured it out yet. But anyway, overall this thing's really nice. All the zippers are really nice. Everything is made very, very well in my opinion. On the inside here, it's got a little, little embossed switch on the back, so that's a nice little bonus. You know, it doesn't really add anything to it, but it looks nice, so that's definitely cool. Everything fits super well, and if you had a case on your Switch, not one with grips, but if you just had like a case, it would probably still fit in this just fine. There's actually a lot of room top to bottom and a little bit from side to side, so you should be fine if you do carry your Switch in a case. Now, obviously, the final thing I wanna go over here is why this thing is called what it's called, and it's because you can actually remove, hang on, yeah. You can actually remove this case that houses just the switch unit from the top completely. So, if you take everything you have with you and you decide, you know, you're going out and you do want to take your switch, you don't have to bring this entire case. You just pull this off, put a few games in those slots and go. So it's super, super convenient and it keeps you from having to carry a whole nother case just for situations like that and also keeps you from having to put your switch in a place where it's not going to be safe. So when it comes to travel, this thing really has it all. I just don't think there's much better out there at the time of this recording anyway than this. It works well, it's got everything you need, it's got plenty of space for all your stuff. I do think this is kind of weird though. I don't, I don't know if I like this, but I understand why it's there. The reason it's there is not only to have a little strap here in case you wanna maybe hook it to something, which mm, it's a pretty tough little snap. It would probably stay fine, but I don't know. But I think the main reason that this is on here is so when you do Velcro this back on, while the Velcro obviously, as you saw when I took it off, is very strong, if something were to knock that loose, this is some added protection that it's connected to the rest of the case itself. So overall guys, this is the one. If you're traveling, if you need to take all your stuff with you, your dock, you know, Joy-Cons, whatever, the whole thing fits in here and it's small. I think if you're gonna get one, this is the one. There are a lot of other options out there. There's backpacks, I've seen a few on Amazon. And some of the ones on Amazon may be better for other situations. I did notice one of them on Amazon actually has a big foam pad and has cutouts for everything to fit perfectly in there. So that's definitely gonna give you a lot more protection when it comes to things like maybe checking it at an airport, which I would not do, but if you had to check it and put it underneath, I would much rather have it in one of those cases than this. I would never ever check this. Just because, mm, no way. I mean, one time I had a tripod, and I'm not talking about like a Walmart or Best Buy tripod, I'm talking about a beefy, giant tripod in a suitcase, and somehow, after flying to LA and back, when I got it out, it was broke. So I would hate to see what they would do to my Switch if I just handed them this. So, not a good idea, definitely don't do that. Anyway guys, that's about all I have for this one. If you do wanna check this out, I will have links below. I also wanted to quickly mention that we are now live streaming over on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So you will be getting videos on YouTube on Thursday. The only day of the week we won't have anything is on Tuesday, but we're working on that as well. So that is gonna do it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like on this video. Make sure you are subscribed and we will see you in the next one. And I don't have a hat on. I don't know how to end a video without a hat.
This is awkward. Oh, here we go. Lens cap. See ya.